What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part three for my playthrough on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we completed the introduction and unlocked the Terra Orb. And in today's video, we are now free to do whatever we want in the Paldea region. So we're going to be completing our first gym. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. But like I said, we are now free to do whatever we want for or whenever we want. Because after the academy, I'm telling you guys, you can just freely roam this big land of Paldean. But uh, we're going to head over to this left side right here and go towards the first gym. And then maybe start making our way back over here. Or this might be a part four episode. But let's just get right into it like i said it's just gonna be us exploring collecting some pokemon for our pokedex leveling up our pokemon and uh probably evolving for coco today because he is one level away from evolving so that's rather close that's rather really close so i'm gonna get rid of the marine i'm gonna say see you later and i think i might have already added him to the pokedex not too sure but as you guys can see there's a bunch of like shiny little sparkles on the ground whenever you see them make sure you hit a on them gives you items all that good stuff and they can actually give you like rare items too to, like get some more money in your pockets but yeah, I like to defeat all the trainers on the routes, gets my, get my levels up, all that good stuff. But I'm trying to think when we're going to get our first addition to the team. And it will probably be next episode. I can probably shoot over and get him in next episode because it is on the right side. When I say right side, I consider like the middle of the map or like the middle of the map to be uh, the school. So right side would be over near the first Titan and the grass gym. And left side would be over near where we're at now and the uh, first gym, which is going to be the bug gym. There we go. Take out that little scatter bug and they're gonna throw a nice little drift loon. Little drift loon action. Getting after it. I think I can just bite this thing. Say see you later. Getting all out my game. Little super effective bite. Foy Coco, my dog. Oh, Foy Coco was her aftermath. <laughs> but yeah, Foy Coco evolves at uh, level 16. And if you guys watched the end of episode 2 yesterday, uh, Foy Coco did get to level 16, but we auto attacked to get it up to level 16. And I guess you cannot evolve a Pokemon after an auto attack level up. So, that was a good note to self. Good note to self. We take out that Pokemon, um, and I didn't even see this thing. A smile on the ground. <laughs> There's a few Pokemon like that where you can't even see them, and they kind of just, uh, you kind of just walk into them. It's kind of funny. It's definitely kind of funny. But I'm gonna get rid of the smile. I'm gonna get rid of the smile. But something that you guys definitely want to do is go follow me over on Twitch, Jeans25 over on Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming my rank battles and post game game play. But for right now, I've just been grinding off screen just so I can bring you guys post game gameplay and rank battles as quickly as possible. And another thing you guys want to do is probably go uh, follow me over on Twitter because I'm going to be taking rental codes for Scarlet and Violet for ranked double battles and competitive ranked singles battles. So if you guys are interested in making me teams or if you guys already have a rental team ready to go, like when I say ready to go, they got to be IV trained, EV trained, have some good items, good team synergy, all that good stuff. Either throw it in the comment section down below or DM me over on Twitter or just tweet at me over on Twitter. I'd love to get your guys' rental teams and definitely use them for videos for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. But yeah, I'm ready for rank battles already. I'm actually really close to actually bringing you guys some rank battles. I would say like within this week, we're going to have a, a, a rank battle video out for you guys. I, I have a few rental codes, but I would rather probably use like a team that I build for at least the first video and then kind of get after it that way. Because I feel like since there are only like one or two rental codes out right now online, everybody's going to be using the same team. So I would rather make my own team. And I feel like I can really make a good team with the, with the Pokemon that I have at hand. Because, you know, Grimstar is an absolute beast. And I think uh, he's going to be a definite in doubles. <laughs> like, he's so good. Especially with uh, without Dynamax. I just feel like he's very, very strong. He's definitely very strong. Can we auto-attack that? Yeah, we can. Cool. We're just going to auto-attack all those Hoppets. We're just going to keep collecting all these uh, Pokeballs. Once that dude's done over there. Actually, he is done. We're going to uh, click this little Terror thing. And usually, uh, if you just see a Terror thing, like a Terror Raid... Instead of uh, doing it, you definitely want to go check it out anyway, regardless, because you get these LP points, and they work as money. So even though I don't want to get that Pokemon, I can just collect that LP and keep moving on with the game. Grab okay, me this potion. Grab me this lovely is that a TM. Yeah, it is low kick. Nice little low kick action. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. There should be a tower over here soon. Yeah, there it is. I was looking for that. I was looking for that tower. I keep trying to dash like I have a dash with my um, on, Or my on. my fault. This one's on. But I haven't unlocked it yet because I have it in the other game. But I just haven't unlocked it yet. Tried grabbing that little sparkle. Ran into the boy Mareep. I guess we're going to have to fight this thing. Even though Mareep's sick. Mareep is so sick. Mareep is so sick. I, I was definitely this close to putting him on the team. This close to putting, putting him on the team. I know a lot of people uh, are rocking with Ampharos in their uh, playthroughs. 
which I don't blame you guys. Yo, Ampharos, tough. Such a cool Pokemon. I love it so much. Mareep's awesome. Flaffy's awesome. I feel like that whole line is just incredible. It really is. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna grab this Poke or this Potion. We got over here another TM. Come here, TM. I got you, dog. I got you, dog. We got a little bit of Protect action. I believe when you find TMs, they go into your TM machine, so then you can craft more, right? Could be wrong, but I'm almost positive that's how this works. We got a nice little XP candy, and there's a trainer over here. Little buddy just chilling out here. Like how this kid just like got done schooling you. She's like, I want to chill right here in the back corner where only a few people would find me and just stand here all day until someone comes up and talks to me to battle. <laughs> like, come on now. Come on now. You're better than that. Youngster, a day. A day. I thought it said Aiden at first. It's a day. Kind of names a day. Shout out to all my people name a day. If your name's a day, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be hilarious. Not hilarious as in like a funny way, but like hilarious that I was just like, whose name's a day and... Someone's name's actually a day. But Foy Coco takes him out. We're almost we're almost ready to evolve. I think uh, if we go take out the gimme goal on top of the tower, we're ready to evolve. But I'm almost positive that there is a uh There is another trainer as we route up this way. Now let me just go back this way and we'll go right up there and towards the tower. The lovely little tower. And I thought towers would work like they do in Breath of the Wild. If you guys ever played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, when you go up to the tower, it expands your map and it opens it up. But you just get the whole map right off the rip. The tower is just there to kind of just like help or just allow you to look out and everything. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Plus, there's Gimme Ghouls up here. I don't, I don't think I saw a Gimme Ghoul in uh, this playthrough yet. So, it looks like we'll be seeing our first little Gimme Ghoul Pokemon. And speaking of Gimme Ghouls, like... They're up on every single tower. So you want to go up on every single tower because gimme ghouls give you gimme ghoul coins and you get 50 of them from uh you get 50 of them from doing them here. So definitely good, definitely good. And you need I uh, what is it, 999 to evolve a gimme ghoul? So collecting gimme ghoul coins is an absolute must. But here he is, little chest. And I wish they would add chests like this in the game. Just so like a few of them could be fake and a few of them could be actually real and you get pokey dollars, you get materials and all that, but they just never added it. They just never added it. But I'm just gonna bite this thing and should be able to take it out, right? No, give me goals a little bulky. A little bulky boy. And he has rattled. He has rattled. That's a solid, that's a solid ability. He's gonna tackle me. No problem. I ain't worried about it. I'm just gonna drop a nice little bite. I'm gonna finish it off. And this should evolve Fue Coco. This should level him up, right? Hoping. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Do I want Yawn? I do not want Yawn. I care less about Yawn. I could care less about Yawn. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Fue Coco is now evolving. God, I love it. A little bit of Fue Coco action. Bye-bye, buddy. Love this starter, but it's time to evolve. Into Crocolore. Crocolore? Crocolore? It is Crocolore. Crocolore, my dude. Look how sick he is. He got a little egg on his head. I think he looks dope. I think it looks so dope. Alright, and then I figured out this way to get off towers. Instead of climbing back down the ladder, just hop on hop on your rideable Pokemon and just jump off. Yo, your boy's gonna land it every time. He's gonna be a dog. He's a man. He's a man. There we go. We got a nice little crocolore action. I'm gonna go over here because I believe, yeah. These items are right here. And items, I believe, respawn. I know the sparkly items on the ground respawn. I'm almost positive those little Pokeballs respawn. Because there are just so many. Every single time. Even when I go back to an area, I'm like, how did I miss these Pokeballs? Let's say be respawning. A little smile on the ground. Got me again. Smile have got me again. Dude's doing me dirty. But yeah, as you can tell, this first area is pretty big, but it's an olive farm. It's based off an olive farm. So that's why you're going to see a bunch of smiles roaming around here. Like, look at them all. All inside of here. Doing their thing. And we got a little Terra Pokemon right here. Now, I wonder what Pokemon is. Is something cool? That Diglett, I do not want to terraform a Diglett. I'm sorry, Diglett. <laughs> I'm sorry, Diglett. We do not want you. Got a little trainer over here with some Starlies. What's up? I'll take the levels. I'll take the levels before I get it after it at the gym. Yeah, we can explore this whole area in today's video. But I'm thinking of defeating the gym, exploring it, and then uh, heading back to the other side. And starting to get it that way. Because the next episode, I really want to do the uh, Titan battle on top of the uh, second gym I want to do. That's really what I want to do in the next episode. A little incinerate action here. Send it. Beta Pichu. Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit. I like how when you get a crit in this game, it shows you right away. So you don't have to wait in suspense to know if you got a crit or not. <laughs> you just know right away. 
But there we go. Whip up on that dude. And I see a cricket tot in the background. And I'm not going to lie. I have to fight the cricket tot because I don't think I fought a cricket tot yet. I don't think I have the information in my Pokedex. So we get an after this boy. A little bit of cricket tot action. Later, buddy. It was nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. What's that? Oh, I do not. Have I see combi over there. I do not have combi in my decks yet either. So I'm going over there next, yo. Like I said, I'm not going to be catching every single Pokemon. But I definitely want to battle as many Pokemon as I can just to complete the Pokedex that way. And the reason I'm not catching every Pokemon is because in my main game, I'm doing it over there. And there's no shot you're going to have me complete Pokedex in two, two different save files. It's not happening. It's just not happening. The later combi. I do like combi. I think it's a cool Pokemon. And I see a trainer over here. I'm all about the, I'm all about getting the beef acc acclimated and fighting, fighting with the trainers. Which way to the gym? Which way's the gym? That way. <laughs> but we're fighting Baldy McOldhead over here. Manual the student. The student? This dude's a student? The spoopa? This dude's a student? Hey, yo. You're never too old to go back to school. They always say that. They always say that. So props to this guy. I got older and he was just like, dude, I wanna I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. Well, there's another trainer up there, isn't it? Or is that like a cricket top? That looks what is that? That's a cricket top moving around. I see him at the fence line. Look at him. He's just moving around. What combi's chilling here? I actually need the uh the combi B stuff, so I'm gonna tee off on him. Or they give you like honey and stuff, which is really good for some recipes. Really lovely. Really lovely for a few recipes. Uh, I don't know. Do I have a Squirvet yet? Oh, no, I do have a Squirvet. I have that in my decks. That's fine. We got Starly. We grab this Pokeball. I mean, let's just keep moving on here. Let's just go do the, do the gym and then we'll fully explore this area. I'm all about it. There might be one more train we at the verse. Not too sure. <laughs> yeah, there's one more. I'll, I'll tee off on him real quick. Yeah, I love the amount of items that are just on the ground. Because, like, you f you uh, fill up on potions and stuff like that. Antidotes, awakenings. And you can save your money for other things. But, yo, there's a Jigglypuff and an Igglybuff over there. They actually spawn around here, especially on the other side of the, uh, the gym town. But, yo, Fanfy! I love Fanfy. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Good old Fanfy, man. And then evolves in Dom Fan. But Fanfy itself is just adorable. Like, look at that little, look at that little thing. So cute. <laughs> He's so cute. We just defeated David, the office worker. This is what he does in his free time. He just gets slapped up by me and my crocolore. He just got done working his nine to five. He's like, like and then now he's getting whooped on by my crocolore. <laughs> he's getting whooped on. Let's see if this dude has a reward for us for defeating trainers. What you got, dude? What you got there? Did I defeat five trainers? I did. Aerial Ace? Okay, I'll take Aerial Ace. That ain't, that ain't too bad. But I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon or my Pokemon. My one Pokemon. <laughs> and we're gonna get rolling to that gym. <clears throat> I really do like the uh, three different story moves or the three different uh, main quests with the Titans, the. Uh, what is it? The, the Titans, the Team Starfall battles, and then the gyms, obviously, because, like, if they didn't add gyms into a Pokemon game, it'd be tragic. It would ruin Pokemon, I feel like. You, I feel like you had to have gyms. What, what, what just happened? Okay, I guess I'm at the gym. <laughs> I was behind the wall trying to get the Pokeball. I thought it glitched out, but it, the game registered me in at the gym. So we had a little cutscene, and I thought that Pokeball disappeared. All right, get back up on this thing. I hop over. I can. I can, indeed. And we can go over to the gym. Hop off my Coridon, get in there. Do it. So the difference between these gyms and, and the old gyms is basically these all kind of look the same. And uh, you don't really go inside the gym to like battle and do like uh, verse trainers and stuff. But you go outside the gym and you do like a gym test. So that you do like an open world kind of quest. You come back, you verse a few trainers sometimes. And more importantly, you verse the gym leader. So you guys will see in a second what I'm talking about. You shall see in uno momento. Dude, my nose is so itchy. I have like dry skin on my nose, man. It's just itching. It's just itching. But we're going to talk to the uh, league rep right here. He's going to say, welcome to the gym. I'm saying, what's up, dude? And he's going to be like, yo, now's the time to face the gym lady. Let's get rolling. But we have to do the olive roll first, which is, which is the gym test. 
I have to go roll an olive around and put it in a basket, I believe. <laughs> Which there's no trainers, but kind of funny. It's actually kind of a fun task. But I'm, but I'm a beast at it. Oh, there's Viblions in here. Viblions. Viblions. You gotta say it in like a French accent. Viblions. Alright, so we have to take part in the olive roll. And the olive roll is down this way to the right. They mark it on your map, but since Jeans already knows that where it is, I'm gonna do it myself. Come over here. You do a little hop and bop over. Oh, dude, I couldn't even hop the wall. There's the hop and bop right over the wall. And you go talk to this lady right here. And why does it seem glitched? Unless I last time I was just did not notice that the fence was fully closed. I thought I walked into it last time. But you talk to this lady. She says, yo, do you want to participate in an olive roll? And I say, yes, let's do it. This is the gym test. And what I have to do is legit just push an olive around into the, uh, into the other basket. And the olive moves all wonky and everything. But once you get this movement down, it's really not that hard to move. There it is, the basket. See, look at this little thing. It's a little olive right here. The olive roll challenge. The gym test. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Three, two. I don't know if you're on a timer. I think you just got to do it. Might be on a timer. But we going. Bop. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it. Moving the olive around. Like I said, once you get it going, it's really not that hard to kind of maneuver. And which way do I want to go? I want to go that way? Uh, sure. Sure, we'll go this way. I kind of went over the ramp, but we're chilling. Do a sharp turn, bounce this way, and get moving. Let's go, Olive. Ball, buddy. Moves decently well. I mean, it's not too wonky where it's like a pain in the neck. Oh, okay. And once I say that, it does that. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> but I have to go this way because that's blocked off by smiles and stuff. Is there a smile right there? Can I battle you, smile? No, they're just hanging out. Look at them. You guys are just partying. <laughs> I like those guys. I like those guys a lot. We'll come around this way, and I'm just going to bring it to the basket. Jeans takes it. Passes around the defender. Goes left. Ball's in the air. He gains control of it again. Brings it to the middle. He shoots. And he scores. Lovely goal. Is that not in there? Okay, yeah, it's in there. <laughs> it wasn't going in in the beginning. But what a lovely shot from Jeans. <laughs> Impeccable. You passed. Sir, I passed. So yeah, a lot of the gyms have little small gym tests like that. Some of them are cooler than others. That one might be one of the lamest ones I did so far. But after you've completed gym test, then you can take on the gym leader. Which I, I like the gym leader battles here. I think they do good because they can terrestrialize, we can terrestrialize, all that good stuff. But yeah, I feel like that it's actually kind of cool because like in the older games, it was like, oh, yo, look at these Pokemans. Fido's here. We got Jigglypuff. I'm uh, Nah, I'm just gonna do the gym. I have all these. My decks. But in the older games, it was just like, if you look at or if you're thinking about it, like anybody can walk into the gym and uh, go face the gym leader. But this way, it kind of dials it down. You have to have this certain criteria meet to versus the gym leader. So I think it's a pretty cool idea. Ain't a bad idea. I just like the fact that in the old gyms, you would walk in there and have to face like 50 trainers. Get it going. Welcome back, Jeans. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, we complete the olive roll. And the best part about this gym is it is a bug gym. Actually, the first two gyms. Well, really, no gym is the first two gyms. But the first two gyms on, like, the level scale is grass and bug. So if you picked Fue Coco, you are really in good. You have a really good typing advantage for the first two gyms. And you kind of just steamroll until you can get your team settled down. Or not. When I mean settled down, it's just, like, pick out your Pokemon for your team. Yo, what's this loading for? Why, why is it taking so long? There you go. But yeah, yeah. First gym leader, let's get it on. She's a Vivion right there. Better be using that Vivion. Are you battling with that Vivion? Where you going? No, <laughs> you gotta battle with the Vivion. I forget what the final Pokemon is for this thing. I'm pretty sure they have a small of maybe. Not as final Pokemon, it just has one as a Pokemon. And probably a Tarantula. I forget, but this gym's cakewalk. Cakewalk all day long. All day long. All right, let's get it. Battle number one coming at you guys. I think she has two or three Pokemon. Not 100% sure. But again, for like the first little bit, you're going to see trainers with only like one or two Pokemon at the most. You're going to throw out a little bit of nimble Pokemon. This Pokemon's pretty cool. Especially when it evolves a little dark and bug type. 
I like it a lot. A little nibble. And this is one of those Pokemon that, like, when you're walking around, you can barely see them because they're so small. And you just step on them and uh, have a Pokemon battle. But this trainer has uh, three Pokemon, and our levels are pretty solid for that. Their, their first Pokemon's 14, we're 17. I'm all about it. And we're second evolution, which is good. And again, we have typing advantage, so this should be a cakewalk. Tarouchula coming out here. What's up, Tarouchula? Take you out with Incinerate. This should be, this is just a cakewalk. It's going to be a three, three move battle. Three move battle. Let's see his final Pokemon. Because I can just Tarasalize here. <clears throat> Let's see. Teddy Urser. Is this thing a bug type? Is this a bug type Pokemon? I kind of want to see. Actually, I don't even think you could see. Because I, I don't have that thing like in my decks. But I'm just Tarasalize here. I'm going to drop a nice, lovely. Incinerate, double the damage because of my terrestrialization typing. <clears throat> it's going to be GG's and can. It's going to be light work. Light work. Oh, let's get it. He's terrestrializing it. And I forget this. He's terrestrializing the bug type. Got it, right? Your bug, your bug leader. I, yeah, I just never, like... Is Ted? I never like knew Teddy Urser was bug. If it is bug, it just doesn't look like a bug typing. You know, like the bugs look like the bugs. And this thing does not look like a bug. And yeah, it's a bug. Oh no, it changed typing the bug. I don't know. I do not know. I'm gonna have to look that up later because it just doesn't look like a bug. It looks like a bear. Looks like a fighting type, you know, or normal type. But there we go. Take out Jim Lady Katie, and get an extra level too. Yeah, we, we've been recording for about like 20 minutes, so we, we have time to grind and like go do other things. So I'm going to go explore this area for you guys and then head on to the next area. Like I said, I want to get started with the next area. So in the next video, we can do the gym leader and on top of that, we can do the Titan. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like, though. I don't think you get gym badges in this game. You just get like a picture with them. I would like I lo always love looking at the badges. The badges were so cool, especially back in the day. I always wanted to get a because of the gym one badges or like all the gyms and all the gens i think that's so cool like get them like actually like metal made or like glass made that would be so cool that would be so cool all right katie i'll talk to you thanks for battling with me thank you for your badge and we are out of here we are out of here um yeah, i'm trying to think when i can get my first pokemon for the team because i know my team i want to get and all starts to kind of like fall together once you get done like the first two gyms. But I can, before doing the second gym, I can actually go out of my way and get, get a, what's it called? Get a Pokemon. But name owner's calling us, congratulating us on a gym. Thank you, baby girl. And I'm out. I'm out. I'm dipping. I'm gone. Not touching this gym ever again. But yo, look at the Cricket Tot and the Nimble on the right side. I'm just chilling here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just hanging around. But another thing you get when you defeat the gyms is you get more TM recipes in your TM machine. So whenever you defeat gyms, make sure you go check them out. Yeah, there we go. It's my Croc Lord take down. And no, he's fine. He just dominated that battle. He just dominated that battle. So we're going to head over to this left side over here. And we're going to explore this a little bit. Because let me check out my map real quick. <clears throat> let me check out my map. So what I want to explore here is this whole kind of area. So where is the town? So here's Mezagona. I hate how it, what's it called, how it flips the town all the time. Flips it all the time. Oh, I can just hit the right stick in and it kind of puts me back. Oh, the right stick in centers you. Okay, that's cool. So that's what I can do. So this is the area I want to kind of explore. It would be around this river. And then we can head over to the left side. Which could be pretty nice. But there's a dog. I don't know if I have this dog in my, my decks. What's this thing's name? Mashruff or something like that? Mashruff? Mastiff, Mastiff, intimidates me. Good thing I'm a special attacker. I think I'm all about that special attack, and I believe it's a dark type. I believe it is a dark type, dark and normal maybe, or it might just be straight dark. Oh, dude, I thought that was a Pokemon behind me. It was just, it was just my Coridon. <laughs> it was just my boy. Nice little hop. It. It is nighttime, so we might get to see some like other Pokemon spawn. We got Fletchling. We got a Trainer up here, which I'm about to smack up, and there is a Pokemon that I'm talking about. Ghastly. A little bit of Ghastly action. So cool. Gengar still 
still to this day, to this day. Oh, we might not want to go up this route. Level 15, Gastly's. Yeah, we're going to hang back. This is for, uh, those trainers are going to whop on us. Those trainers are going to whop on us. Then hit me with a payback and we'll be able to suck that up. And yeah, this is for, like, after you defeat this hacking gym, you kind of come this way. So they say you can go wherever you want, which technically is true, but, like, obviously the level scaling in different spots. It's like, eh. It kind of forces you to go back, but it's not, it's, it's, it's still, this game is still incredible. We'll reap over here. Yo, I found another shiny. I found two shinies in my other game. Just random, full odds. I got a shiny Skiddo and a shiny Magohita. So I'm stoked about. Just randomly, just like running around. Got them Pokemon. Look at this, we got the waterfall. What do we got down there? Carpy Carp. What was that? Arowanda or what's that Pokemon? It's the Arascuda Pokemon. The Barascuda first stage. What is that? We got Azuril, we got a Trainer, and I'm gonna face up on this Trainer. I don't think he could be that strong Trainer over here. You got Chef's hat? You a Chef, dog? Yo, whip me up some food. Whip me up some food. Angeline's the cook. The cook. It should be the chef. Put a little chef sauce on. Like, yeah, yeah. Hype yourself up wearing one of those hats. Yeah, why is this rock blocking me? There we go. It's got a little combi action. Combi, I love you to death, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Later, buddy. Just need that XP, and I need a Poke Dollar from the trainer. I always thought that was so funny. Every time you versus a trainer, they give you money. I can just picture in the Pokemon world, you beat him, you're like, all right, pay up now. <laughs> give me your money. I just murdered your Pokemon. Now I'm going to steal your, your pay. Give it to me. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Is that a Marill? Look at it. It's about to fall off the Yo, if it falls off the cliff, that'd be hilarious. Look at it. He's just chilling there. <laughs> he's just chilling now. He's walking back. That's kind of funny. Hi, Marill. How you doing? How you doing? Alright, let's go this way. Grab this. What is that? That's another mass shift. I'll keep heading along the side. Grabbing new items. All that good stuff. And I believe I know where bronzers are. What's that? Small of... A little small of action. Azuril again. Mass shift. What else we got over here? That's a palmy. Another Azuril. Mareep skis. I love Mareep. Mareep's dope. Mass shift again. Another mass shift. They're just spawn all over here. Got all these little sparkles here, and there's a terror Pokemon down there. Can I get down there? I mean, obviously I can hop, but like, let me check out the map real quick. Yeah, that's all our area. There's Pikachu's down there. I'm gonna head down there because it leads to this route, and this leads back to the main area. But it leads back to the under. Okay, this leads to the under. Okay, you know what? I'll be back there. I'm gonna go explore over on this right side because I know there's like a ruins area kind of and what's called spawn there bronzers and I definitely want to go get one for my decks. So onward. Oh yeah, what is that? Is that a gimme ghoul? Gimme ghoul! <laughs> Little gimme ghouls hide around here. Give me gimme ghoul coins. Gimme ghouls. Alright, let's go. Let's go get a nice little bronzer. A cricket touch on here. Another cricket tot. And there's a terror raid battle there. And I believe the, I believe the what's called is right over here. Hit the wrong button. Hit Y for the map. I believe the, yeah. This is where I want to go. I'm going to set it as destination. Onward. So I got the terror raid battle, which I definitely want to check out. Just get the LP and all that. And then I can head over here. Here, another gimme goal right here. How you doing, gimme goal? Take the coins. Setting out my croc lord to get off on them. I can make my way over here. Uh, the trainer too. I might as well take him on, right? Might as well give him a little beating. What's up, little buddy? Definitely has bug. I feel like anybody who's like wearing these hats always are bug trainers. Especially in the older games. I remember in the older games you can kind of just tell who or what typing the guy has just by the way he looks. Like you had the hikers and all that. They always had the rock dudes. And these guys always have like the grass and bug Pokemon. But Shroomish, yo. I love Shroomish. One of my favorite Pokemons of all time. Oh my god. I used the wrong move. Double tap there real quick. Should have killed it already. He's gonna seed me. I've been seeded. Do love me some leech seed action though. Can't go wrong with leech seed. Cannot go wrong with leech seed. Leech seed's so good. Oh, Fer I don't think Ferrothorn's in this game. Not that I know of. Ferrothorn is so far not in this game. Oh, am I on this rock? That's pretty sick. 
I'm not even gonna lie, that's pretty sick. I look sick up there. <laughs> I'm just chilling on that rock. Chilling on that rock. But yeah, we can get this. We can head over here, do this terror raid. But yeah, Leech Seed, uh, I just remember Leech Seed really good with uh, Ferrothorn and Sword and Shield. He was just a beast in Sword and Shield, Ferrothorn. Super, super good defensively, and then if you can get up, especially singles, you can just set up Leech Seed and have leftovers on him as well. Just unlimited HP, you just protect waste out of turn, and just keep going from there. Or you get off an Iron Defense first, GG's in the can. If you're going up against physical attackers. But yeah, kind of explore this area really well. I'm going to go ahead to the other area. Actually, I want to go hop off that edge. Let me check something out real quick. Let me check the slopey map. Actually, I want to go here first. Let's go to our destination. It's like I said, bron Bronzongs and Bronzors hanging out around here. Is that the school? That is the school, right? This place is enormous. Too big. Too big. Can I get over here? Check out the map again. Do I have to go all the way around? I do have to go around. Actually, how do you get here? Oh, you have to take water or go... Okay, never mind. You can go around this way. Uno momento. No, not the Fletchlings. Not the Fletchlings, man. Not a fan of these guys. Actually, I love Fletchling, but not trying to battle them. I love Fletchling and uh, Talonflame. But we have other business to do. Other business. That's my lives. It's just so cool how many Pokemon are spawning at a time. Combies. Combies, I'm sorry. I need your honey. I need your honeys. <laughs> I need your honeys. Honey's good for uh, crafting some TMs. Lovely little TMs. Mareep, dude, I think you can't go wrong with Mareep. I just want a big Mareep plush that I can give a big hug to. Big that, that's how you know you made it in life. When you got a big Mareep plush to hug. Like a life size Mareep plush. You gotta be like two feet, right? And you're just like, Mareep! <laughs> and you gotta give it a hug. I want it so bad. I'm gonna loop around this way. I see that trainer right there, but I don't think I'm gonna take him on. I just wanna go get this bronze ore and then head to the other area. Hop it. We got home or items. Bunch of items around here. Too many items for us. I believe going around this way will open up this area right here, right? Yeah, looks like it. It does indeed look like it. Open up right here. Yeah, and this should be the spot where you find the bronze ores and all that stuff. Bronze ores? Are you hanging out here? Got all these items. We got these ruins right here. Oh, and there's a terror type Pokemon. Gonna have to see it. I saw a really good uh, guard chomp in my game, but I wasn't high enough level to do anything with it. What we got here? What is this Pokemon? What is that? What the heck is that? Oh, it's a Fletchling. Hi, Fletchling. Fletchling, and I believe Bronze were spawn over here. Oh, we got this thingy. Enter Alzies. Tink a tink? Is this the one Tink a tink? Because I know it evolves into Tink a ton. Tink a tink, baby. This is a cool Pokemon. If you guys are looking for a solid steel or fairy type on your uh, Gen 9 team for your playthrough, oh yeah, this this is definitely good too. I was going to pick it up on my team, but I, I like the team I'm working with. Here, give me go. I got a Drowsy right here. Got to get Drowsy into the decks. Hi, Drowsy. It's Drowsy's hilarious, man. I always thought he was funny in uh, Gen 1. Just a funny Pokemon. He does his little hand motions when he battle him. Meemer, meemer. <laughs> it's Gimme Go. I keep hearing. There you are. Here I'm doing his little coin stuff. With this, TM. And I could have sworn Bronzor would spawn here. Yeah, I wasn't wrong. I was not wrong. Gimme the Bronzor. This is what I came here for. But good thing there was uh, other Pokemon chilling around here. A nice, lovely incinerate. Burn him to the ground. See you later. Oh, yo, he ate. He said, hey, yo, I can eat that up. No problem. He's going to hit me with a payback. Do some damage. He said he can eat that up. But Bite's also super effective, so I'm going to finish him off there. <laughs> Look at my boy Giles. He's doing his hand motions. <laughs> I hope he does it again. Yeah, there he goes. Booga, booga, booga. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's too funny. Well, there we go. Get a bunch of new Pokemon. And I believe the one other thing I want to do is maybe... I'm gonna do this, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Actually, I can go to the right side right now. Which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go to this right side. Yeah, because we, we finished up. We explored the left side really well. We got a lot of Pokemon. I feel like we got most of the Pokemon in there. Except for probably some rare spawns. So now we can head over to the next area. 
which is going to be the Titan side and the second gym side. So I'm going to be doing both of those in the next episode, but I'm going to be starting off this uh, this area by exploring it and uh, just catching some Pokemon around here. I'm good to go. Dope, dope, dope. The next episode, I feel like we're going to have a big chunk of uh, gameplay. We're going to be doing the Titan. We're going to be doing the gym, and I definitely want to get my second Pokemon for my team. And my second Pokemon might take me a little bit because I want a certain ability with it. So we will go from there. We shall go from there. But there is actually a really cool Pokemon that spawns here that I feel like a lot of people are getting on their team. And that is uh, Charcadet. And there's one exclusive to Scarlet and there's one exclusive to Violet. The Violet one is Ghost and Fire, which I think that one's cooler. And Scarlet, the game that I have is, is uh, Psychic and Fire. But both really cool Pokemon, but I'm not going to take it on my team because I have what's called already. I have my Fire Pokemon already. With, with my Crockler. Well, eventually it'll be Skelliger. And what is down there? Is it a cave? It's here. Whoa. Can I get up here? Or do I need big jump to get up there? I think you need big jump to get up there. Oh, no. I should screw it. It's this way. Cave. Sucks. This leads to other cave. But I found Gimme Ghoul. <laughs> but I found Gimme Ghoul. Oh yeah, there's Rookities. I don't know if I have a Rookity yet. A little Rookity action. One of the coolest uh, regional birds, Corviknight. It's first stage. I think it's cool. A little Corviknight action. Incinerate it. Should be able to take it out one shot. We're nine levels ahead of this thing. If you don't take him out, Crocolore. Okay, I was going to say. You're done. You're banned. Alright. Uh, is there a way back up from this way? We we'll have to go around. I'd rather just go back. Because I want to go back to the uh, beginning spot. Alright, bad idea for us going that way. Back to the beginning so we can actually take on the trainer. Should be this way. Sometimes you find some really cool Pokemon in the caves. Alright. Got a little caught up in exploration, but that that's that's what this game's all about. This game's all about exploration. I'm gonna take on the trainer and I'm just gonna explore this area a little bit. You a new kid? Yeah, I'm the new kid. Is there a problem? Oh yeah, the new rock Pokemon's here. And Spoink! I love Spoink. Yo, you see Spoink right there? Spoink, Spoink's the bee's knees. I, I love Spoink. And its description's hilarious. I'll tell you it right now. Its description is, if Spoink ever stops bouncing, this has been in the game for a while. If a Spoink ever stops bouncing, it dies. And that's kind of sad, so it has to bounce forever. So it stays alive. It's kind of like Charmander. The Charmander's flame goes out on its tail, it dies. But Spoink is just a man. Look at him go! Look at Spoinky over there. I'm gonna go get him. Gonna go, gonna go kill that Spoink. Put him out of his misery. He's been bouncing around for too many years. I mean, how does he sleep? He can't sleep. Dude hasn't had a good night rest in years. Come here, Spoinky Spoink. I love Spoink, man. I love Spoink. Look at him. Little Spoink. <laughs> good old Spoinky Spoink. Bite it up. Add him to my decks. Sorry, Spoinky. He gone. <laughs> Even when he faints, he doesn't stop bouncing. He falls kind of like that. It's kind of funny. But we got this Pokemon right here. I'm just going to... I'm just going to take it out. Even though it's straight rock type. We have two fire moves. Could be able to take it out. Two lovely little fire moves. Oh, this thing's a decent level. Maybe three fire moves we might have to use. Show me two. Okay, two will do the job. That's fine. He's going to rock polish boost his speed up. And he's probably faster than me now. Actually, maybe not. I'm second stage. You still are slower than me. Get him out of here. I don't understand why that Pokemon would learn Rock Polish. It's already slow to begin with. His stats are just poopy. Just makes no sense. Let's grab his Pokeball. And I'm stuck on here saying I'm chilling now. There's Rookie D's. I believe Charcadets will spawn over here. Over in this area. Over right behind here. I'm going to go over here and see if one of them is going to spawn for you guys. It's a really cool Pokemon. Yep, there he is. I got to say, yo. Spawns over here. Let me grab this. And this one is the Scarlet version exclusive. Really cool Pokemon. And it evolves into something even cooler. But it's kind of a pain to evolve. You have to go get uh, items from Bronzor. And then, like, uh. And then you gotta craft its uh, evolution item. But still, so cool all around. So, if you guys are looking for a fire type in your Gen 9 playthrough, Charcadet is your guy. If you went Quaxley or Sprigatito in the beginning, this is your, this is your fire type. So sick. So sick. There we go. 90 XP we add to the decks. And I just wanna grab this. Then move onwards. 
Agujita, I need you. And Sphinx! Sphinx! Need you too. Defeating both these guys. All about the exploration in this game. Agujita, yo, I love it. Like I said, I caught a shiny one in my other game, and his where everywhere where it's like black and blue right there, it turns like pink and red. Which is I think it's really cool. I saw it while I was battling, I was like, no shot, that's another shiny. But I feel like full out shinies are gonna you're gonna encounter more of them in this game considering so many Pokemon spawn. <clears throat> that makes sense. I'm gonna incinerate, we're gonna say bye to Shinx, and there we go. Add him to the decks. Add him to the decks. Keep moving forward. Onward. There's a rock we just did. I'm gonna hop over Rookie Grab what is that? It's a, that's a little palmy. So small. So small. We got this little area. I'm gonna head down here. Grab you. Great ball. It's always good to just stack up on items. Now the trainer, I'll do you in a second. And we'll just keep collecting Pokeballs and stuff. Exploration factor. Got a gang of Shinx. Can I hop up here? I see a Terrastalized Pokemon. And what is that? That's a Jigglypuff. That's a Jigglypuff from the uh, the trailer. That thing is kind of funny. It's a Jigglypuff from the, from the trailer gameplay. Alright, I'll battle this trainer. I shall battle this trainer. But I'm going to be ending this episode rather soon. Probably battle this trainer, do a little bit more exploration, and then call it a day. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I'm about to, after this video, I'm going to be recording my first guide for you guys. So if you guys want to keep up with all the guides, all that good stuff, make sure you guys just subscribe. I'm going to be putting out as many guides as I possibly can for this game. And then on top of that, like I said earlier in today's video, later this week, we're going to have our first ranked battles video. And once we get ranked battles rolling, we're going to be grinding on the ranked battles. Grinding, grinding. Grind and grind it. We're gonna have Skelliger teams, Quack Squabble teams, Meowskerade teams, everything. Best teams for solos, best Pokemon for solos, all that good stuff. But yo, we got a happening. We got a happening here. <clears throat> they like happening. I think it's a really cool first evolution. <laughs> With a little high ponytail. Look at that. A little ponytail action. But sorry, happening. You have got to go. There's another spoink. Look at that. Look at that spoink right, right between the bushes. Bouncing around. <laughs> spoinky spoink Spoinky spoink I think you come over here You can like Find a bunch of new Pokemon and there's stuff down here and stuff Trainers Explore that I remember all the Pokemon down there Let's head up here you Got the rock guy, oh there's another Pokeball Yeah I feel like these Pokeballs gotta respawn right I make that jump oh, Look at that Look at that you do get a jump upgrade later in the game when you first some titans. Which I think it's pretty cool. Let me check out my map. We gotta go. The first titan's over here. So we got a decent path to go towards. So I'm gonna head up this way a little bit. Probably make my way to here and then call it a video. I think I think that's a I think that's a solid, solid, solid thing for Jeans to do. Well this area is tough. Well, this isn't a desert area, it's more like a rocky canyon area. But there is a desert area in this game. Which I think it's cool. Head up here, grab this. Anything else back here? I should turn on my sensitivity. What's up here? Shark Cadets, Rook of D's. PM for Metal Claw, I'll take that. And we're gonna go beat up on this trainer. What is this? Spoinks partying! Yeah! The boys! Y'all, the boys are here! <laughs> I take out my camera? Hold up. Come here, Spoink. Come here, Spoink. Is this the camera button? Oh yeah, Spoinks, where you at? Spoinks! Let me move over a little bit. Come here, Spoinkies. Photo shoot. Photo shoot for the Spoinks. <clears throat> and this is this rotates camera. Oh, that straightened it out. I like it on the angle. A uh, reset camera, point camera would be the right stick. Oh no, that just does that. Look at my Spoinky. I can just take a picture like this. Oh, no, wrong button. <laughs> that button. Spoinks! My man, dude. Love me some Spoinks. I gotta get a close-up of Spoinks, actually. Let's get a bit closer to Spoinks. Gotta get a close-up of Spoinks. Spoinks! <laughs> spoinks, my man. How you doing today? Gotta get pictures of Spoinky, dude. Good old Spunks, man. 
I, dude, I love me some Spoinks. I didn't know. I totally forgot how much I love Spoinks until this game. I saw Spoinks. I was like, my boy, Spoinks. He's just a man. He's just a man. How can you hate Spoink? Its name is Oink as for a pig and then mixed with Spring for a spring pig. Where's he at? There he is. Chilling. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. But there we go. Take out this Iggly buff. Take out this trainer. Give me your money now. Thank you very much. And I want to see if there's any good TMs that my Crocodile can learn. Because uh, I would like to give him some other moves. It'd be another dark move instead of uh, Bite because he is a special attacker. I do have to get him a new nature mint. Go to my bag. Well, let me see this thing summary. I know it's nature sucks in this game. It's my special attack, but a special attack is still way higher than a regular attack. But speed's boosted. It's pretty good. But let's go over here. Let's check out the TM machines before we finish off today's video. Heal up the crocodile, all that good stuff. Little crocodile action. Bom, bom, ba -da 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 -da. Let's check the TMs. I think we gotta have some good TMs here. TMs. Oh, yeah, we got some goodies. Here's normal moves. We want fire. What's this? That's fire fang. We don't want that. Um, we gotta go to dark types. Where's dark type? Here's ghost type. Dragon, this should be dark. <gasps> no. No dark types? Or is that psychic the eye? No, psychic would be this. No, we have no dark types. That hurts the soul. We have some fairy moves. Definitely pretty cool, but nothing that we are looking for. Nothing that we are looking for. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet guides go live. Well, not guides. Videos go live. But uh, in the next episode, we're going to be taking on our first Titan, the second gym, and adding another Pokemon to our team. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.